Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in to my math video. Mr. B here again, giving you part two of uh, my log series. And this, in this uh, video, I'm basically going to solve some exponential equations that I need to use logs for. So this is the second video, so this is the hard examples. So let me give you an example of a hard example. So 27 to the 2x, and that's 40. I don't know, 5 to the 3x plus 1. I immediately regret that, but anyway. Uh, so here it is. So we need to solve this thing. There's no common base, so that means basically that we have a lot of work on our hands. So first thing I usually like to do if there's coefficients involved here and numbers out front of my exponentials, I'd like to just you know divide by at least one of them. So I divide both sides by 20. So I get 7 to the 2x is equal to 2, 5, 3x plus 1. So now what I want to do is the same thing I was doing in the last video, which is log of both sides. One of my favorite algebraic techniques to be able to solve equations. So I take the log of this side, so I get log 7 to the 2x is equal to log 2 times 5, 3x plus 1. Just like that. So now I have to use some rules of log. So right here I have an exponent so that can come out and go right in front of that guy. So I have 2x log of 7. So that's one of my log rules. So if I have an exponent inside a log function, you can take it out and put it in front. And another one of my log rules is that if I have things that are multiplied inside a log function, I can add them. So I have log of 2 plus log of 5, 3x to the 1. Now because this is an exponent inside of that log, which I'm about to write, I can take it down and I can write it like this, 3x plus 1 log of 5. So note, I was going to write this as log 5, 3x plus 1, but I decided just to skip that step and put it out front. It saves me a little bit of work. Alright, so when I get to this step, now what I need to do is I need to um, do any distribution that I have to do. So usually you're going to have at least one distribution, so I'm going to distribute here to both of these things like that. So I end up with 2x log of 7 is equal to log of 2 plus 3x times log of 5 plus log of 5. So now my next step is anything that has an x in it should go to the left side. Anything that doesn't stays on the right side. So the only thing I have to move is this. So I get 2x log of 7 minus 3x log of 5 and that's equal to log 2 plus log of 5 just like that so I can take an x out of both here so that's my next step is to factor an x out of this side so I get left with x on the outside so this x is gone that x is gone so I get 2 log of 7 minus 3 log of 5 and that's equal to log 2, log 5. Now I'll divide both sides by whatever I have in brackets here. So 2 log of 7 minus 3 log of 5. And 2 log of 7 minus 3 log of 5. And that gives me x is equal to log 2 plus log 5, all divided by 2 log of 7 minus 3 log of 5. And there it is. That is my exact solution of this equation. So you can see, guys, that the, this is not certainly not an easy thing, but it is an essential uh, in any pre-calculus course, maybe um, you know algebra, pre algebra trigonometry course in university, or pre-calculus 12 in high school. Um, so let's do one more of these. So that took us about five minutes. So another five minutes wouldn't be too bad. Let's see. 
All right, so let's do uh, this one even more difficult than that one. So the only way I can really make this more difficult is to increase the level with the exponents, or uh, I can have maybe a couple steps beforehand to see. So I'll make it more difficult with the exponents. So seven, so five, seven, oh, five, seven to the x plus one is equal to 10, six to the two x plus one. All right, so this one's going to be a doozy. So I divide both sides by 5 first of all, and I get 7x plus 1 is equal to 2, 6 to the 2x plus 1. So now I need to take the log of both sides. So I'm going to kind of skip a few steps here. So when I take the log of both sides, what ends up happening is my exponent comes out. So actually, you know what? I'm not going to skip any steps. So we get log 7x plus 1, log of 2 times 6, 2x plus 1. So we get that situation. Now I take my exponent outside. So the same thing as before. This guy can plop it in front here. Log of 7. So I'll eventually will distribute through the, this one. And this one becomes log of 2 plus, then I have 2x plus 1, log of 6. So 2x plus 1 comes out front just like I did here, and then log of 6. So now I have two distributions. This was make this one a little bit harder, so I got two distributions this time. The exponents make that situation. So I have log x, log of 7, plus log of 7, log of 2, plus 2x log of 6, plus log of 6. <clears throat> so again, I get my x's together. So this guy goes over here. This guy goes over this way, so I get x log of 7 minus 2x log of 6. That's going to be log of 2. I messed up a bunch of brackets, so I'm going to lay here. And then log of 2 plus log of 6 minus log of 7, just like that. And then I divide, well I take an x out first. So I take an x out and I get left with log of 7 minus uh, 2 log of 6. So you go to log of 2, log of 6, minus log of 7. Just like that. So then what's in brackets here? I'm going to divide both sides by that. So we have three terms on this side, so log of 7 minus 2 log of 6. So you're left with x is equal to log 2 plus log of 6 minus log of 7. I'll divide it by log of 7 minus 2 log of 6. So quite the complicated mess there, but again, it's an essential thing in pre-calc, guys, and I hope it helps. Uh, just got to remember, take your time, use your rules of logs, really be careful as you're going through it. And also remember, if the teacher does not ex not ask for exact answers, don't be messing around with this stuff. Just work at the decimals right away. So when you get to a step like right here, decimal, 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 and then phew, go ahead and solve it like a regular linear equation. All right, guys, I hope this helps. I'll see you guys in class. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. I appreciate all your feedback and all your good words. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. See you guys in class.